And staying with that story of President Trump's Asia trip, his five-country visit could mark the peak of tensions that have been building up for months between the uh, United States and North Korea. Experts also say this is an opportunity for Trump to lay a firm groundwork of his foreign policy following mixed messages sent out by members of his cabinet. Yoo Jun-hee reports. After weeks of harsh rhetoric aimed at the regime, President Trump will bring his threats to North Korea's front door when he embarks on the first Asia tour of his young presidency. More importantly, observers are hoping his trip will clear up some of the uncertainties surrounding his administration's approach to Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs. Confusion has reigned in recent weeks after President Trump and members of his cabinet delivered conflicting messages on how they plan on tackling those issues. In addition to Washington's East Asian allies, Trump is hoping to strike a deal with Beijing for its cooperation in denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula when he meets with Chinese President Xi Jinping as part of his Asia tour. A close eye is being maintained on President Xi for any changes in his stance on North Korea, with China's Communist Party Congress set to renew his five-year term as General Secretary later this week. Economic agendas will also be on the table, with President Trump likely to seek concessions over the South Korea-U.S. free trade deal as well as his trade with China. He could also face challenging questions on why he pulled the U.S. out of the 12-nation Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement and how he plans on creating an alternative trade framework. These issues will likely come to the forefront when President Trump attends a pair of regional forums, namely the APEC summit in Vietnam and the ASEAN Plus 3 meeting in the Philippines to wrap up his week-long visit to Asia. Eugenie, Arirang News.